Well, 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 we're only six days into the year 2020 and already the big breaking news shockers are overwhelming us. What? What kind of year is this going to be? Now, let's start with an event that took place in distant Iraq. Yeah, but I still believe very strongly will affect us in a very major way. On Friday, 3rd January 2020, just outside Baghdad airport, an American drone takes out some vehicles. And amongst those killed, yeah, is a man whose name many Kenyans have never heard of. Qasem Soleimani. Bwana Soleimani was of course a general in the Iranian army, but also a man linked by intelligence sources all over the world to attacks against America and the nation of Israel. Now you must also know that Iran is a country with a very interesting ideology. Because for instance, it is an open secret yeah, that the Iranians support Hezbollah to the tune of a hundred million dollars in supplies and weapons every year. Anyway, this drone assassination of Bana Soleimani has sparked a world crisis with tensions in the Middle East rising to a level not seen for a very long time. Now of great relevance to Kenya is that this spiked oil prices yeah, by 3% immediately. Now that may appear to be a small percentage, but trust me, it isn't. But what is even more worrying, experts fear yeah, that this price of oil could continue to rise dramatically if tensions yeah, in the Middle East over this issue continue. And it seems they will, yeah, because the Iranians yeah, have sworn to revenge. And President Donald Trump of the United States yeah, is responding very cockily. Yeah, in short, what he's telling the Iranians is, try me. Or to put it in Kenyan language, Ebu Jaribu. Ebu Jaribu One. And of course, the rest of the world is very alarmed. And of course, all this is coming at a time when the Kenyan economy, oh boy, the Kenyan economy is in very serious trouble. But even before Kenyans can fully grasp these events yeah, and the impact and consequences they'll have on our country, Al-Shabaab militants hit yeah, a Kenyan and U.S. military base in Lamu yeah, on Sunday morning. Yeah, Sunday, 5th of January, 2020. Number of Kenyan casualties unknown, at least at the time I was making this video. Number of American casualties, three. Now, of course, this latest attack is the culmination of heightened activity by Al-Shabaab in Kenya and in Somalia too. Yeah. Now, in my latest weekly intelligence briefings, number 26, which is out, I cover this in great detail. The sensitive part of this, of course. And there's a video I'd made earlier with more details. Yeah, just take a quick look and I'll be back.
ndoto ya kuotea mbali sana tena mbali sana anyway let's move on and then to cap it all miguna miguna the controversial lawyer some call him general miguna miguna is expected back into the country tomorrow 7th of january 2020 ah yeah 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 and even before his plane touches down on kenyan soil there's already drama yesterday miguna miguna's mercedes vehicle was impounded by the police but what is super interesting is what happened later the police come out with information that they've been instructed by high authorities to release that vehicle immediately now by the time i came in to make this video i had still not gotten an update here on developments on this particular saga but it is very telling now miguna himself says yeah that this is irrefutable evidence that his vehicle has actually been fitted with a tracker yeah and authorities of course want to keep track of everywhere where that vehicle goes and it seems especially now yeah when miguna miguna is expected back in the country now in my view this is a case yeah of where the government's left hand does not know what the government's right hand is doing yeah hence the instructions that came later yeah from authorities high up to release that vehicle immediately in my view yeah it is a sign that the higher authorities in Kenya the higher and more powerful authorities in Kenya are preparing yeah to allow the controversial lawyer into the country and in my view miguna miguna's timing yeah of trying to make yet another attempt to re-enter his motherland is not accidental yeah it is very deliberate more so if you take a close look at recent political developments in the country it would appear that more kenyans than ever before are ready for miguna's radical message calling for nothing short of a revolution but those who are seizing his car are actually playing right into his hands yeah, and giving him extra promotion and advertising that was a very very wrong move to make but here we are the general is returning and there's all this drama playing out <laughs> even before he lands what should we expect you know in case miguna is allowed back into the country i'm very curious yeah, why because i'm wondering how long he'll continue to be non aligned yeah to any part of the major political divides in the country because the answer to that question is crucial yeah in being able to predict what is going to happen because in politics whatever your strategy is whatever your ideology is you want results as quickly as possible and many times those opportunities present themselves yeah and they're too tempting to resist okay there are those kenyans who believe miguna miguna is very principled very headstrong and very arrogant however the truth is over the months that he has been away from kenya this man has matured politically not enough for people to notice a clear change yeah however enough for me to say he has become much more realistic than he was when he was unfairly bundled out of his own motherland and he has done something which you do not see very frequently on our political scene he has been very consistent and persistent with his message and at the same time our politicians even our favorite political horses have continued to disappoint us more and more by the day bottom line he may have more support and he may have more rapidly growing support than most of us realize and that may suggest that he could have a fairly significant impact on our ongoing politics but admittedly that remains to be seen however as we count the hours to miguna's landing this i'm very sure of the return or the attempted return of this controversial son of kenya will not 
be boring. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekuja.